Hello everybody, it's Scott here with Corporate Fitness Works at Asperia Fitness Center and I'm teaching strictly strength today so I hope you guys are ready to work out. I'm going to step right back and explain class. We'll do a quick demo and a warm up and then we'll take it away. Alright folks, we got a great workout block today for you going. We're going to hit our full body. We've got core work, we've got buys and tries mixed in as well uh, to finish us off towards the end. Uh, so what we have here today for our equipment is that you'll see I have a mat of course for when we're down on the mat. Um, if you've got a carpeted area or wherever you're comfortable with at home, you don't need the mat, that's totally fine. Uh, I've got a variety of my weights over here. You'll see I have a few different pieces. I've got one heavy object, that's my kettlebell. Uh, I'm gonna use it that. You don't have to have a kettlebell if you have a really heavy dumbbell that you'd like to use or another heavy object, maybe with a handle would be great. Um, I've got a medium pair of dumbbells that we'll use for some different types of stuff. And then I've got one light dumbbell. It's a 10 pound dumbbell, so something in the uh, eight or 10 pound range is gonna be perfect for you. Uh, we don't wanna go too heavy on that, for that's, a, that's for a core exercise. So um, grab a light one if you've got one, um, then the medium heavy, you can you know, play around. You may see me switching uh, what I use on those medium and heavies, but uh, just grab what you got. And of course, we've got a sweat towel, we've got a water bottle. Uh, make sure we're staying uh, hydrated during the class. We're gonna sweat a lot and uh, we're gonna wipe that sweat off with the towel. So we're gonna go ahead with our warm up, and I'll demo um, our first block is six exercises. Um, beyond that, um, not a lot that you guys will need to see. We have six exercises followed by uh, a little bit of extra alternating um, a snatch and a high pull. So I'll go over that quickly. But we're gonna warm up. So we're starting here uh, with 12 toe touches. So we're gonna keep our knees as straight as we can. We're gonna reach down towards our toes like so. Try to keep that back as flat as you can. We're gonna get a little rounding, that's okay. We're tight. We're not really under load here, so don't need to worry about it too much, but we're going to get to 12 here. There's number six. So spread those feet out a little bit if you like. Get to the rest of those reps there. We've got a couple more. Here's 10, 11, and 12 right there. So keep on going. One or two more toe touches if you need to there. We're going to do overhead reach, so we're widening our base just a little bit. We're going to reach and lean to our side. we got to get 12 of these. Big stretch on the lats and outer hip there. One more reach on either side. We're gonna take 12 squats and we've got a rowing motion at the top. So our arms come out in front of us at the bottom of the squat. And then we row, big squeeze for 12 reps. Here's 10, sinking really low in that squat. Get those knees out wide, big squeeze in the shoulder blades. Last two reps, 12, good. We're gonna take our march with a pull down, so arms start up overhead here. 16 reps, we squeeze our elbows down and we drive the knee up for one rep. Two, three, four. Here's 12, 13, 14, last two, one, and two. Good, we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna do two inchworms with a twist and a push up. So this is a whole long one. We gotta go two, two cycles of that. And we'll finish up a few more quick ones. Here we go, we got our inchworm. So we're walking these hands all the way out. We're gonna twist up on each side and then add a push up at the bottom. Walk that backwards. One more of those. Walk those hands forward all the way out into our tall plank. Twist it up to the sky on each arm and then a push up. And walk those hands back. From here, we're going right down to our mat here. We're gonna do 30 seconds of a bird dog and a dead bug combo each, 30 seconds each. Then we got 20 jumping jacks to really get the blood flowing. But we're starting here our bird dog for our first 30, keeping that core locked in tight. Driving the heel straight through the wall behind you, fist going straight forward, 15 seconds, and we're gonna flip right on over to do the same thing with our dead bugs. 
Five seconds, one more switch on each hand. There's one, and one more switch there. We're going back onto our backside, 30 seconds with our dead bug here, which is the same thing, upside down, right? So we're gonna try and float that heel. Don't let your heel touch the ground. Full extension at the arm and leg here. Core is gonna start working really hard. Halfway there, we got 15 seconds to go. Almost there, we got one more switch on each arm and leg here. So there's one, and the last one, two, good. We're gonna pop up on our feet here. We got 20 jumping jacks, and I'd like you guys to just keep a nice slight march or jog in place, really gentle um, pace there, uh, while I quickly demo everything. So we got 20 jacks up on our toes, getting those arms moving. Almost there, 18, 19, and 20. So go ahead and keep a nice light jog or march in place. I'm gonna demo everything real quickly here. Straight down the line, our first block is six and we'll demo the rest as we go. So uh, we've got our first block is a unilateral squat, which means we want our heavy weight up here on one side. And we're just gonna do a classic squat. Gotta keep our core active with that heavy weight, changing our center of gravity on the top of our body. So uh, we've got our heavy squat, and we're gonna take our medium dumbbell, and we're gonna do a half kneeling diagonal raise. So we're here, and we're gonna come out diagonal from our body, kind of at a 45 degree angle keeping ourselves in what's called the scapular plane, working all those shoulder muscles, rotator cuff, everything. So that's not going straight out to the side, it's not forward, it's kind of at an angle, so we're going out 45 degree angle from our body. For the next one there, we're doing everything on one side and we'll repeat it. So we get the right side going first, so then we can get our heavy weights or your medium weights, and we're gonna have a kickstand deadlift. So one leg in front, toe back and behind you for support, and we're deadlifting just like normal, hinging at the hip, flat back, there, then we're gonna go tabletop position, back on hands and knees on our mat, and we're gonna do a row reverse fly combo. So here we are on one side, we row, and then we fly out to the side. Just like so, alternating the row and the fly, all on that same side. Then we'll jump up on our feet for a lateral lunge, classic, step out to your side. Um, you guys are familiar with the lateral lunge, hinging a little bit. And then we're gonna get our small dumbbell for the end of this block, and we've got our, our lightest small size dumbbell here, and we're going full extension at the arm, up to our knee for that crunch, and then back down. So we're gonna stay on that same side. Dumbbell is in the opposite hand that we reach to our knee, so we're kind of going across our body there a little bit. That's it for our block, and then we'll be up on our feet where we'll do alternating snatches, but we'll also do one that's a high pull, which is similar to the motion of a snatch. So if we're here, I'm gonna use my kettlebell to demo this, so we're here. Our snatch starts at the bottom or our high pull. So if it's a snatch, it goes all the way overhead. And if it's our high pull, we go right here. And then we're just gonna pull, and we're gonna pull our elbow back at the top. So if we have a kettlebell, we wanna think about the kettlebell coming up and showing the bottom of that kettlebell. And that's how we cue to pull that elbow back. Big squeeze in the elbow, so we pull that right back there. And if you've got a dumbbell, we can do the same. We just wanna focus on driving the shoulder blade back. So we should get to a point where our palm is downward, so like we're facing the ground, so we have a knuckle like we're gonna punch straight forward. So um, palm will stay down, and that's how we get from this turn it. So our palm is facing backward now, and then we're gonna get it to face straight down, and that's how we can get that grip for the high pull as we pull back, squeezing the elbow at a right about shoulder width there, or shoulder height, excuse me. Okay, we are ready to go. You guys have been moving. We're starting our unilateral squat with your heaviest object if you've got it. If you got a kettlebell, we're gonna put that right in that sweet spot. If we're holding a dumbbell, we just hold it up by our ear like we're on the phone. And our round starts. Here we got one minute rounds for everything. Uh, 20 second break before we move on to the next one. So the first one, unilateral squat. I'm doing everything on my right side first. We'll go through the second block on the left side. So we're ready to go here with that unilateral squat. Fire up your music right now if you got it. Otherwise we start in two, one, and the clock is ticking for our unilateral squat. Arm is out to the side for a counterbalance. Keeping our core extra tight here on these squats as we are 
a little off balance now with our center of gravity being changed since we were lopsided we've got weight on one side only we're making sure to drive those knees out wide we've got just over 20 seconds to go still got that arm out to our side for balance we're working our core really hard here 15 seconds to go. A couple more reps here, and we're gonna go right into our half kneeling diagonal raise. There's our beep. We're gonna turn that up a little bit so we can hear it better. We're in our half kneeling position next. We got our full max volume on the beep now, so. 10 seconds, we're in our half kneeling position. We've got our medium weight dumbbell and we're going in a diagonal plane from our body here. There's our timer, nice loud beep. And so we're not going out to the side. We're not going straight forward. We're working in our scapular plane about 45 degrees off our torso. So make sure we're keeping that shoulder blade squeezed as best you can. Stabilize in there, changing our base if we need to. Move that knee out for a little more stability. We got 20 seconds to go. We're gonna keep operating in that scapular plane as best we can, diagonal motion off our body. 10 seconds to go, a few more reps here, doing our best, and we're popping up back on our feet for a kickstand deadlift. There's our timer, nicely done. Back up on our feet here for our transition, kickstand deadlift. So I'm gonna work on my right toe, or my right leg first. So my left toe is just gonna be tapped behind me just for a little bit of balance. I've got my one heavy weight, and we're gonna go opposite side, so. I'm using my one weight here, you can use two. If you wanna have weight in both hands, you're welcome to do that. We're focusing on keeping the weight balanced on our other side for stability, since we're using our right leg weights in my left hand. My back toe is just down enough for support. My front, my front leg, my lead leg rather, is doing all the work here, so. Hinging slowly, shooting those hips back, keeping our back as flat as we can. Under 20 seconds to go. Make sure that plant foot in front's working really hard as well. Big toe is squeezed so that arch is active. We got 10 seconds left here. Couple more reps, that front leg is working hard. Last rep here, there's our timer, good. We're going back down on the ground and we've got our tabletop position, hands and knees here, where we will now do our row and reverse fly combo. Just do the row if you wanna modify. So we're right here, tabletop, there's our time. So we're hands and knees and we are gonna row and then we're gonna reverse fly. Make sure we're getting a big squeeze toward our hip with the row, leading that reverse fly with our shoulder blade squeezing up and back. And keep that core active as well here. Just finish out with the row here if we need to as well. Three seconds, finishing out this set with the rows. Good, way to go. We're back up on our feet here. We've got a lateral lunge, so we can take whichever medium or heavy object you've got, 
and we're going to stick with one lunge and we're doing everything on the right side for this first block here right so we're going to lateral lunge it on the right there's our timer ticking now so we're stepping out to the right every time here we've got our weight under our chin if we need it if we're doing body weight that's fine as well trying to hinge as best we can shooting those hips back halfway through our round right there keep it going really working hard on this plant leg here we got less than 15 seconds just a few more reps left last rep there it is nicely done we're going to toss our heavy weights aside and we're getting that lightest dumbbell that we've got now for our crunch portion with our core here we're wiping the sweat already we're working hard We've got our dumbbell in the right hand here, so that's our right side. And there's our clock ticking, so we go from all the way up here, dumbbell to our knee, and all the way back down. Time work on the core here. Drop the weight if we need to as we fatigue. Twenty seconds to go. We're feeling our core working hard. Just a few more reps. Finish strong. Almost there, three seconds. Get one more in if you've got it. Last one, there you go. Great job. We are halfway through that first block, which means we're doing everything over again on the left side. We just did everything on the right. We're flipping to the left. So we're going back for our unilateral squat. Weights on the left side with the left shoulder now. And the clock is ticking. Here we are. Arm is outside for counterbalance. Core is working hard. We've got strong feet right outside hip width. We're sinking low into that squat, allowing our knees to shoot outside of our hips as well. Externally rotating there a little bit. Keep moving, we're doing awesome. We got 20 seconds to go on our squat round here. Ten seconds. We got a couple more reps. Keep those knees driving out wide. Sinking as low as we can into that squat. And there's our break. Nicely done. We are jumping into our half kneeling diagonal raise on the left side this time. Got your medium weight dumbbell. We gotta get in our left side half kneel and we're raising 45 degree angle. Remember not to go too far in front or too far outside. We gotta stay in that scapular plane here today. 45 degree off the torso. Reset it if we need to. Keep that core tight, working hard. We got 20 seconds to go. We're still fighting. Ten.
10 seconds. Take a break, we're working hard. Finish it up this last few seconds here. Last one, good. That's a tough one there. We're up on our feet. Kickstand, deadlift again. So we're in our left leg period. So now I'm gonna hold the weight in my right hand. My left foot's doing all the work in the front. My right toe is just tapped back here. Just enough for some balance and support. And our, we're doing all the work on our front leg here. Slow and steady here. Big hinge at the hip. We're trying to keep that knee straight, loading the hamstring and glute on that front leg. Hand out to your side or on your hip, whatever makes you comfortable. We got about 20 seconds to go. Pause at the top if you need to. We're using heavy weight today over here, so we're taking those breaks as we need them. We got 10 seconds to go. Last rep, three seconds, get down there, big squeeze to the top. Great job. We're wiping sweat if we need to. We're working hard. We're on to our tabletop row and fly, and we're doing that on the left hand now. So we've got that medium weight handy. Row and fly. And there's our timer. So as we row, we pull back to our hip a little bit, and then we fly straight out to the side. Leading with that shoulder blade. Adjusting if we need to here. Getting that right position there. Remember, we can mod one or the other out. Just stick with the row if we need to. We got 20 seconds. Try and get a few more flies. Finish out with the row if we need to. Last 10 seconds. Last rep. Great job. Up on our feet. Get that heavy weight again if you can. We've got lateral lunges. We're holding that right under our chin. We got five seconds. Left side, lateral lunge now. Left leg doing all the work. Here we go. I'm gonna flip my grip here actually on my kettlebell. A little easier to hold on for me there. Make that adjustment if you need to. Of course, we can go body weight here. If you gotta drop the weight. Step it out onto that strong plant foot out there. Sink the hips back, drive off that foot. We're over halfway. Fifteen seconds. Let's keep going. Awesome job. One more. We got to get back on our mat, and we've got our little weight for that crunch to the knee, and we're putting the weight in our left hand, crunching over to our right knee. We got seven seconds to get there. Small weight is in hand, behind our head. Here we go. Slow and steady. Try and keep that heel floated as best you can. 
We'll get an extra core work there. 30 seconds to go. We got a break coming up. Ten seconds to go. Finishing strong here. Last rep. Great job. We're going to take a little extended break here. We're going on to the second portion of our block. We did both left and right sides. So now we've got one minute of that high pull, alternating hands, so we can pull set the dumbbell down and we want to show that bottom of our kettlebell or if we start here palm we get that palm so that it's palm facing down that's how we want to do that and we're going to get a big squeeze in the shoulder blade as we pull that back and that's our high pull so a minute of high pulls alternating we're going to do a minute snatching the weight all the way up over our head so if you've got a heavy weight that you want to try here do that then we've got a little plank section and we'll be Time for another break and we'll run through that block again before we finish out our final block of finishing exercises. So we're coming up on our 60 second break. So we're going to get our heavy weight ready to go, heavy or medium, whatever you're comfortable with for those high pulls. So again, what that looks like is we're starting in the snatch position or with the weight right below us here. We pull up and show the bottom of that weight so like we're flashing it forward, pull that elbow back and then set it down and switch. So that's our goal. We've got about 15 seconds here. So we're going to start on our beep when we hear it. So we've got one minute alternating that high pull, one minute alternating a snatch, and then we'll do a little core work before we repeat the whole thing one more time through. So there's our timer has begun for our alternating high pull. So we pull elbow back alternate to the other side. So we're trying to show the bottom of that kettlebell if we've got it. Otherwise we're just pulling up so that palm is facing down toward the ground as we tuck that elbow back. So we should get a really big squeeze in the back muscles and the shoulder blade there as we show the bottom of that kettlebell. Slow and steady here, focused on the form and getting a big pull rather than speed. If you want to slow it down and really set yourself here and get a big pull, you can do that. One more pull on each arm, there's five seconds here, get our last pull in here. Set it up, big show, great job. Nice guys, that's a new movement for us baby, so we're learning how to get our hand from knuckles facing down to knuckles facing forward with that palm shown to the bottom of the ground. So we gotta do snatches now. You guys are familiar with that. From the ground all the way up overhead. One minute's on the clock here, so we're pulling that and punching the weight up overhead, setting it down and switching arms. Really focused on that lockout at the top, big squeeze in the shoulders. Big power from the ground up, so we're pulling that weight all the way up overhead. Set it back down, reset here if we need to, and get a big, strong pull. We're not going for speed, so go as slowly as you need to to make sure we're really nailing that movement. So the weight's down below us. We set it up here from our hips, and a big pull and drive up overhead. We got 15 seconds, we got a couple more left. All the way up overhead. Last one there. Great job with our high pull and snatch portion. So we're gonna go straight into three minutes of planks here. We got a minute of plank on our elbows and toes, keeping those forearms parallel, thumbs up to the sky. Then we'll do a side plank and then we'll be ready to take a break again before we start over. Okay, here we go. There's our plank timer, which means we're up on our elbows and toes for one minute plank here. 
Our feet are at shoulder width here, not too close together. Give yourself a nice comfortable base to work from. Block that core up. Tuck your belly button in here. Elbows and shoulders are stacked. Find that spot there. Thumbs up to the sky so my forearms aren't rotating inward. We're holding on here. Halfway through, drop down and reset if you need to. Or we can come into tall plank to finish it out. Whatever you gotta do, we got 20 seconds. We'll take a side plank on each side before we recover to start the whole block once more through. And we'll finish up. Less than 10 seconds to go. We're still holding on here. Four, three, two, and drop down. Awesome job. We've got our side planks next. Take a modified side plank with the bottom knee bent. If we'd like to add in their five lifts, we can start with hips and knees bent, and we come up into that position, sink the hips back. And we're up to plank here, so we can be in this position holding that. If we'd like to do five lifts, squeeze in the knee and glute, and then we'll hold the rest of the time after the five. So there's two, three, four, and there's five right there. So then once we do five, we can just lock in that position. Still want to feel for that big lat working hard over here. Elbow and shoulder are still stacked. So we have that nice line there. Lats working hard. And we are locked in here on our side plank for another 20 seconds. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget about those five lifts to start out the round if you want a little extra movement. Otherwise, we're locking in this side plank. No lifts, no problem. Just a nice, long, one minute steady hold here. Five seconds to go, four, three, two, and drop. Nicely done, so we're flipping to the other side. Same idea, lock in that side plank. Take the mod with the bent knee if you want. You're welcome to go up on both of those feet. And if we want those reps at the beginning, we're gonna start with hips and knees bent. And there's our timer. So if we're going for the lifts, we're squeezing our bottom knee down into the mat, squeezing our glutes to come forward. Two, three, four, and five. I had to readjust my elbow. I was not very well stacked there, so I had to make that adjustment. Now I have this nice stack right here. We're holding on. We kick that top leg out. We're still on the bottom knee modification if we like. You can kick that bottom leg out. We're still getting great lateral core work here, even if we have the bottom knee bent, so don't feel like we're missing out. We got 20 seconds to go, holding on here, making sure that elbow stays stacked. We feel our lat working hard back there. 15 seconds to go. We got a break coming up. Holding on for this last seven seconds. And relax, nicely done. We're putting 60 seconds on our break clock. We're gonna start that whole block all the way over, starting from our right side, unilateral squat. We're gonna go through that whole process one more time through. And then we've gotta finish up with our finisher exercises at the bottom half. So we're wiping our sweat. We're grabbing a drink if we need it. We're gonna work hard on this second time through the block. We're keeping that heavy weight handy if we can. We might drop to the lighter weight if we need to to finish out those rounds, but we can always just mod those tough ones on that fly round. We can just mod to the row if we need to finish out the round. So we've got about 15 seconds left. Grab your drink of water, get ready to go. We got our heavy object again. We're starting on the right side, unilateral squat. All right, 60 seconds break is over. If you need a few more seconds, you go ahead and take it. You can join back in with us whenever you're ready. But we got right side unilateral squat. Ready to go here, slow and steady. Clock starts at three, two, one, and off we go. We're on the right side. Big heavy weight for this one. We 
we've got our arm out for counterbalance. We're a little lopsided, right? But we're still feeling strong in our feet and lower body. Core is tucked in, working hard to keep us stable. We're over halfway. And we're gonna take a pause at the top if we need it here, but we're under 20 seconds to go. We're gonna finish it out. Keep working hard. 10 seconds to go. You got one more rep, let's go. Get it, two, one, and relax. Great job. We're gonna drop the heaviest weight and we're gonna get our medium weight. Maybe drop to the light one if you need to. We're in our half kneel diagonal raise. So we're remembering that 45 degrees off our body so we're not going out to the side for a lateral raise or we're not going straight in the front. We're finding that middle ground. There we go. Our clock is ticking. We gotta tuck our core. Keep your hand there if you need it. And we're working in that 45 degree angle off our torso. This is a tough one. We're taking a break if we need it, letting that fatigue wear off just for a second after these reps. We're working with a heavy weight today, so we're feeling it, right? But we're not gonna quit. 20 seconds to go. 15 seconds. Keep fighting. Switch to your light dumbbell if you need to finish it out. We got 10 seconds to go. Almost there. Four, three, get two more in if you can. And there's your break, nicely done. Tossing that medium and heavy weight to the side. We gotta get back up on our feet for our kickstand deadlift. We're using our right leg as the working leg. I'm gonna hold my heavy object or my kettlebell in my left hand to keep me a little better balanced. And of course, if you got two objects, that's great as well. Two dumbbells is just fine and we're going straight down on that single leg like so. Otherwise, we got our arm out again for a little bit of counterbalance. Since we are lopsided with our weight today, my back toe is just on the ground enough to stabilize myself a bit so we can use a little heavier weight rather than doing a classic full single leg deadlift where we're really focused on our stability. We're not limited by our stability as much when we have our toe down so we can kind of overload the pattern a little bit more. So hopefully that's what you all are finding that you can do at home. Toe down helps us pick up the weight on that single leg to work harder on that plant leg. We got 10 seconds to go. Last rep, awesome job. We gotta get into our tabletop position. Right side, row and reverse fly. Modding to the lower weight if we need to, modify to just the row if we need to as well. There is our timer. So we pull back for our row, shoulder blade squeeze for the fly. And of course we modify to just the row if we need to. Add a few more row reps in between the fly rep as well. The fly is much more taxing. So do your best to modify. Two rows for every fly if you want. Three rows for every fly. Try to get both, both movement patterns in. We got 15 seconds to go. Finish it out with the row if we need to. Good, and break. I'm really feeling that one on the fly with my heavier weight today, so I finished out with some rows. You can do the same. Don't be afraid to take that 
modification or cut one of those out. We're back up on our feet. We got our lateral lunge round on the right side. Heavy weight under your chin if you got one. And there's our timer. Ticks. We're working hard on this right leg today. Trying to hinge those hips way back. We've surpassed our halfway mark. 20 seconds to go. Still working hard on that plant leg. All right, great job. Lateral lunge is over. Right side, last one for the right. We're getting our small dumbbell back. And we've got that pullover crunch to the knee. Right dumbbell, left knee, four seconds to go. Let's get there. Here we go. Dumbbells in the right, crunch into the left knee. Try to get that to full extension as you can, as best you can in between each rep, all the way back down overhead, floating that heel just slightly if we can on the left leg. Keep the tension high on our hip flexors there. Keep fighting. 10 seconds to go. Our core is getting fatigued, but we're not going to quit. Good job. Our right half is done. We're going to hop up on our feet. Everything on the left. So let's get that big heavy weight again. Kettlebell for me, left side. Unilateral squats on the left weight. And here we go. Three. Two, clock is ticking. We've got that weight kicked up on our left shoulder now. Arm is out for counterbalance. Strong feet right outside of hip width. Working hard to sink into that squat as low as we can go. Our core is working hard here as well. We're lopsided, we gotta stay balanced. Core is working hard, whether we know it or not. Adjust your weight if we need to. That's not sitting right for me. We're working hard. We got 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds, come on, let's go. Nicely done. Toss the heavy weight to the side. We've got our diagonal raise in the half kneeling position once more on our left arm. This is tough. Remember we're at that 45 degree angle as best we can. There's our timer ready to go. This is tough. Drop your weight if we need to, or just take a break. Keep fighting. Don't quit on the round. We're tired. We're on the home stretch. We're fighting through this here. We got 20 seconds to go. Big heavy weight, 45 degrees. Keep fighting. 
Less than 15 seconds. We got a couple more reps in us. Come on, five seconds to go. Finish it out, we're working hard. Three, two, last one. Awesome job, that is a tough one there with our little heavier weights there. We did our best to fight through it. We gotta get back up for our kickstand deadlift. On the left side, which means our right weight, our right hand holds the weight. Arm is out for counterbalance if we need to. Heavy weight. My right toe is just down enough to stabilize me a little bit so I can focus on the strength building portion of the pattern rather than the stability portion. We got 30 seconds to go. We're getting tired. We're gonna keep fighting. Keep shooting those hips back. We're almost there. Less than 10 seconds, finish up. One or two more reps if you got it left. Last rep. And squeeze, right on time. Great job. We gotta get our tabletop row and fly going here on the left arm. Modify the weight if you can, if you have to. Just going for those rows if we need to as well. So modify as you see fit. Here we go. Here we can do two rows and a fly. Or we can alternate every other, whatever you're comfortable with. Just try and stay active throughout the round some way or another. It's not supposed to be easy, right? We gotta work for it. Mix it in however you can get it. Stick with the rows if you need to. We got 12 seconds. Finish out with these rows. Straight back to the hip if you can. Three seconds. Nicely done. Those are the toughest ones in the books. We're up on our feet. We've got our lateral lunge on the left side. We are working hard. One more set of lunges, one more set on our crutch. Then we'll run through our snatch and core block before we finish up here. We're ready to go. That's our timer. We're lateral lunging on this left side. Keep hinging those hips back, driving off that plant leg. We're working hard. We're getting tired. It's our last minute or so here before we switch it up a little bit. Our hard block is out of the way. Let's keep fighting through 20 seconds worth of lateral lunges, one or more crunch round, and we're in the home stretch. <sighs> 10 seconds to go. Keep working on that leg. One or two more reps, five seconds. Last one, two, one, and break. Great job. Down on our mat, grab that lightest dumbbell you've got today into your left hand, and we're tucking that to our right knee. Full extension, one more minute, here we go. Let's go. We're going into full extension. We're floating the heel as best we can. We're slowly controlling that dumbbell as it goes overhead.
keep crunching, keep driving that knee up, drop to just your body weight, drop the dumbbell if you need to, just do hand to knee. We've got about 15 seconds left, a couple more reps, we're starting to feel it. Last rep, get it in there, good, nicely done. We're gonna take our 60 second break right here before we jump into one more round of our high pull snatch. And then we'll go through our core planks one more time and we'll do a quick finisher on the bottom half. And that'll be it for the day. Great workout. I hope you guys have a little left in the tank for me here today. So we're in our minute break real quick, wiping our sweat. We've got about 10 minutes left total, and then we'll be cooling down. So we're ready to go here pretty soon. Wipe your sweat, let's get one more quick drink. We're going into our high pull portion. Remember, we want to flash the bottom of that kettlebell or we're gonna go palms down when we pull. So we start here, palm facing the wall behind you, and then it should end up facing down toward the ground as we pull that elbow back. So one more quick sip, and we gotta get our high pull going. Let's go get into position here. We'll give ourselves this 10 second countdown right here, straight into those alternating high pulls. Remember, we're going palm down, Elbow squeezes back behind you. Two, one. Here's our timer. So we're pulling that dumbbell or kettlebell up. You can imagine there's somebody bothering you behind you, really annoying you. you want to give them a nice little elbow nudge, right? So they're yelling in your ear. We don't want them there anymore, so you got to give them a nice courteous little high pull elbow. Drive that elbow back. Kettlebell or dumbbell is right about shoulder or head level. Big squeeze in the shoulder blade. 20 seconds. Good, there's a break. So we worked on really squeezing that elbow back there. Hopefully you guys felt that shoulder blade working behind you. So now we've got our snatch pulling all the way up and we're locking it in. Lock that shoulder in for stability overhead. Alternating here our reps, there's our timer. So we gotta pull big power from our hips all the way up overhead. Get that power all the way up. We're just locking that hand in, right? So our arm shouldn't have to do any pressing overhead. It's just simply locking that weight in overhead. We got 10 seconds, couple more reps. Here we go, finish it up, let's go. Last one, get a big pull all the way up. Nicely done. We got one more set of planks and we'll get to our finisher burnout round. We're getting close guys. We got an elbow plank here in 10 seconds, holding for a minute. And we got our side planks before we finish it out. Here we go, two, one. We've got four arms parallel. Our feet are shoulder width apart. Keep those glutes squeezed, core squeezed. 
Everything nice and tight. Our elbows and shoulders are stacked. We're halfway right now. We'll modify if we need to from this halfway point. If you need to drop and reset, you can do that. Come up into tall plank to finish out. Try and hold on. 20 seconds to go. We're not gonna quit. Keep holding on. Don't give up now. 11, 10 seconds. Keep holding on. Let's go. Final stretch here. Six, five, four, three. There's our break. Nicely done. We're dripping, we're sweating. We're going for side planks. So don't forget to get that extra set of five lifts in there if you want to before we're holding on to that modified side plank from the knee. So we're starting here. Hips and knees are bent. We're stacked. So we drive our bottom knee into the mat and squeeze our glute to come up for five. Otherwise, we're just holding this classic side plank. That's your choice for the modification. There's three, four. I was weighing myself down. Try and get that hand off your hip, across your chest if we can, or up in the air. So we take this modified side plank with our knee down on the bottom. We're still getting a ton of great core work over here. We can feel it working. So no need to worry about that. Elbow is stacked with our shoulder and we're holding on. We got 25 seconds. Drop down if we need to. Pop back up when you can. We got 15 seconds to hold on. 10 seconds. Keep holding on, we're feeling it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. We got one more minute. Flip it on over here for these side planks. All right, here we go. We're finishing up our final minute on our side plank here. We've got our side lifts, pushing that bottom knee down into the mat if we need to get these five lifts in. Otherwise, we're holding on that modified side plank. Two, one, and our clock is ticking. So we're going for our five lifts first. One, two, three, four, and five. We're holding on, kicking that top leg out, feeling for that nice lat working hard underneath our arm there. We're holding on here. We got just under 30 seconds to go, so we're holding on nice and tight. Control that breathing. Keep that bottom glute squeezed. Less than 20 seconds to go. Keep fighting it. We're in our last few seconds home stretch before our finisher here. 10 seconds to go. Seven, six, almost there. Finishing strong. Four, three, two, one, and drop. Awesome job, guys. We are gonna finish out our upper body burnout real quickly here. Just a few more minutes to go before we cool down. So we're gonna go ahead and start that with our medium weight dumbbells. One minute. We've got a Zotman curl modification. So we're gonna start with our classic curl, but we flip it at the top. And we're only gonna flip at the top. So every time we get to the top, we flip the grip. Then we're gonna do a halo and we'll do tricep extensions. And we'll do two rounds of that, so six total minutes left. And we're gonna get ready to go here. We're gonna get our, on our feet. So we've got this classic curl here. We curl up to the top, classic, and then we flip the weights so that we're gonna start the next curl upside down. And then we flip it at the top. So we're gonna alternate between a classic curl and a reverse curl on each one there. Four seconds before we start. Two, one, and there's our timer. So we start with our classic grip, flip it at the top and lower it down. And we start a reverse curl and then flip it at the top. So we're turning those wrists over at the top every time. We're gonna burn out our upper body here just for the last few minutes. We got less than 20 to go right here. We 
we're feeling the burn on our biceps and forearms by now. One last flip up to the top and lower it back down. Great job. Dropping our weight. We got a halo next, so we only need one weight for that. And we're holding this right under our chin. And we make these circles right around our head as tight as we can keep those circles. And we start in five seconds. We got a minute of that for our tricep extensions. All right, here comes our halo round. So we're gonna feel it in these shoulders. Keeping these elbows tucked in as close to our head as we can on those Halo turns there. Almost there, we're starting to feel the shoulders. We got 15 seconds, just a couple more halos up and over. Last one, good. And we have triceps next. So I'm gonna do these laying on the mat. You have your choice. You can stand up and do those triceps if you'd like. We're going flat on our back here. Kind of like a skull crusher style tricep extension. So we're gonna start with two weights. We'll drop one dumbbell if we fatigue through the round and just hold on to the one. We're gonna feel this in the triceps. Don't forget that mod, just drop one dumbbell and hold on to the other one with both hands and finish out. We may have to do that as we fatigue through the second round here. We're doing our best though to fight through right now, finishing this round. We're almost there. We got three minutes to go after this. One more rep, oh, good. Up on our feet. We got three minutes to go before our cool down. Coming up here, we've got our Zotman curl switch. Flipping at the top only. Remember, we're just flipping that wrist position at the top of the curl. Here we go, there's our clock. Three minutes left, it's our final round of the burnout for our upper body. Three minutes to go. Slow and steady here, flipping grip at the top. Rest at the bottom for just a second if you need to. Feel that grip, recover, feel the forearms recover, come back to it. 20 seconds left. One or two more curls, we're almost there. Five seconds, last one to switch at the top. And lower it all the way down. Nice job, drop those weights. We gotta shake our grip out. Hey, we got two minutes to go. Halos and triceps to finish us out here before we cool down. We're gonna get these halos up here. We got five seconds. Grab that dumbbell right under your chin. And we're haloing.
Let's finish it out. We got about 15 seconds to go. We're feeling it in the shoulders, trying to keep these halos as tight as we can keep them. 10 seconds to go, our shoulders are mad. We're working it out. Five seconds to go, one more around and back. And break time. Let's hit the mat or however you'd like to do your triceps. We got one minute to go and we're cooling down. We're gonna hit it. And we're gonna have to take our triceps one hand at this time or two hands, one dumbbell. We're feeling the fatigue. We're gonna stay active though and finish this round out. Don't quit, keep going. Let the fatigue wear off just for a second if you need to. Rest for a minute and come back to it. 30 seconds to go, final 30 seconds on the clock for class today. We're cooling down. This was a tough one. You guys did awesome. We're keeping on, pushing through. Last 15 seconds here, we're fighting. Finish it out, finish those reps. We're burning it out. Good, there's our break. Awesome job, we are all done. We are stopping right there. We gotta get our cool down in, which we are gonna do right here on the mat. 30 seconds for a knee hug on each side. Just stretch out that lower body a little bit here. So big knee hug. Relaxing our opposite leg down against the floor. We've got a big hug. Squeezing this knee as high as we can up to our chest. And we're exhaling all that air out. And we're holding on for 15 seconds or so left, 10 seconds. We're gonna switch our legs here. Ready to switch in three, two, and one, so we switch, get a big pull on the other side. That opposite leg is now hanging down flat as we can get it to the mat, right? Big breath in and out. We're holding on, big squeeze at the knee there. Keep on pulling, we got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna switch into our side lying position here now. Top knee is to the ground, our bottom leg is straight out way over here. And we're gonna do a nice 30 second hold, our open book. So we're just gonna drive that top shoulder blade over, hold your knee down here if we need to. And we're gonna follow that hand over the top. Hold it here for 30 seconds. Almost there, take another big breath in and out. 10 seconds left here, exhale all that air. Breathing out, five, four, three. We're gonna close that up. We'll flip on to our other side, do the same thing. So I'm gonna face away from the camera and open up towards you guys. Top knee is bent over, bottom leg is out. And we're driving that shoulder blade back and over. Big stretch here, 30 seconds on the clock following that hand with our eyes all the way over to the other side. Keep that shoulder blade squeezed in, tuck it in. It's gonna help you get over the top here. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, close it up. Two, and one. Good, we're gonna sit up next here. So we're gonna sit in this position. I'm gonna put my arms behind me. My fingers are pointing away from my back, so my fingers are pointing behind me. And I'm just gonna scoop my rear end forward a little bit, and that's gonna feel a nice stretch 
across our chest and our biceps. So we just squeeze our shoulder blades back with flat chest stretch and we're getting a nice pull on our biceps as well here. And we're gonna hold for another 15 seconds or so. So we scoot our butt even forward a little bit more. If we can't feel a good deep stretch, just keep inching our rear end forward. You'll feel a nice stretch in the biceps. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So we squeeze those shoulder blades. Should have got a big pull on the biceps there. Stretch those out a little bit. We're gonna go for a tricep stretch overhead. 30 seconds on each one here. So we did a nice tricep burnout at the end. We're holding on here for 20 seconds or so. Big stretch across the top. Five, four, three, two, and we're gonna go ahead and switch it. Big pull across our head for the other tricep, big stretch. We might even feel our lat stretching a little bit here in our armpit. That's a good thing. We're holding on here for another 10 or 15. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, last two here. We're gonna do our 30 second child pose right into 30 second cobra pose. So our child pose, sinking back onto those heels. Feel that stretch on our shoulders. Hang our head down to the mat. Blow all your air out. We've sunk down onto our heels as best we can. 10 seconds and we'll come forward into our cobra position. Five, four, three, two, and we're leaning forward. Tucked our toes underneath. We squeeze our glutes and we're taking a big breath in. And we're stretching out our abs here. Holding on for the final 20 seconds. Hold on to that breath. We've got 10 seconds to go. Feel those abs stretch. Six, five, four, three. And there's our timer. Go ahead and relax. Come on right back into tabletop position. Stay here for a few seconds if you need to. Do a few more cool down exercises. Catch your breath right there. That's all we had today. That was a tough one, guys. We had some, some of those half kneeling raises in those positions. So taking those mods, don't be ashamed. I was taking mods and, and cutting some reps as I needed to. I had some heavy weight, so I was trying to push myself today. I hope you guys were able to do the same. Uh, as always, guys, leave me a comment uh, or a like down below. Let me know what you thought about today's class. Um, I hope you guys got a great workout in. We hope to see you back in the fitness center soon. But until then, um, we'll see you right here, same time, same channel, for our YouTube classes. I'm Scott with Corporate Fitness Works at Asperia Fitness Center. We'll see you next time.